Well, Hawaii's public schools have an attendance problem. Since returning to the classroom after the pandemic, the number of students chronically absent has significantly increased. Our Paul Drew shows us how one school takes aim at the serious problem with some fun games. Paul. Well, a teaching students is one of the challenges facing Hawaii public school educators. But another challenge is just getting many of those students to come to the classroom in the first place. Ke'ele'i Kalani Middle School has a rich history. 150 years ago, it was the palace of Princess Ruth Ke'ele'i Kalani. But in more recent years, it became known as the middle school with the state's worst test scores. Historically, we were always the lowest. Out of 31 schools, we were the lowest in the state. Part of the problem was its high chronic absenteeism rate, which is when students miss 15 days or more a year. We have some students that miss 80 to 100 days of school. Before the pandemic, statewide chronic absenteeism was less than 20 percent in public schools. But after 2021, the rate sharply increased and is now around 30 percent. Last year, Ke'ele Ikolani Middle had a chronic absentee rate of 55 percent. So when basically your whole half of your population, half of your school misses that much school, how can these kids be successful in their content areas, math, reading, science, and social studies? Many families know the importance of attending school. It prepares them for the future to be successful and accountable and just there's a lot of positive, positive things comes from being, you know, uh, attending school yeah, on a regular basis. But Donna also knows motivating students like her grandchildren to go to school can be a challenge. Sometimes, yeah, it is. They would rather be on their devices. <laughs> Kayla Ikolani Middle now does outreach into the community to bring in students and get parents to help and will sometimes use truancy rules to keep kids in the classroom. We get locked up if we don't go to class. Like we can't get suspended, ISIS, yeah, all of that. So that's like one thing that motivates us to go to class and all of that. But because of its unusually high absenteeism rate, the school tried something unusual this year. And we got fully funded to buy each video game uh, and create a space that's cool, we can play music, that's AC, that you can come in, just hang out, be safe. Old school games and multiplayer games give students a chance to have some fun at school. And during that time, they're also able to build a relationship with teachers who are there to motivate and encourage them. The attendance arcade opens an hour before school starts as a way to get students to the campus early. We had students that would show up about 11.30, lunch starts at 12. And the, the tribe comes in walking like every day. Like, I know you're not just coming for lunch. And some kids do just come for lunch. But we have seen some individual students that are here early now that are waiting. Pasatino says there are about two dozen students who regularly use the space. He would like to add more games in the future, but adds so far it is working to get more students into classroom seats. Uh, so right now we're like 45% proficient. So we see a decrease of about 10% chronic absenteeism. And I would venture... Now middle schoolers are testing right now for state level proficiency in math, English and science. But Pasatino predicts because more KLE Kolani students spent time in class, the school's low rankings will improve. And if you didn't know, that school used to be known as Central Middle. Paul Drews, Island News.